All right, so it is um, round two of today's little video thing. Um, <clears throat> my today right now is your tomorrow, I believe, unless you were behind me. Um, in either case, it's still going to be tomorrow because I'm not going to be able to get to the internet until the future sometime. Um, anywho, for for CP Hum with Mrs. Heinlein um, or Mrs. Mom as friends and so fondly like to call her, we seniors must create a memory book. Um, this book of memories can be about anything you like. Mine is about my family and me. Um, it's a very eclectic collection of things and um, it's just like things that was my toast that popped up. Sorry, I jumped. Um, it's a collection of things that I want my future children to read and so they can look at it and they can look at me and maybe they can make a connection between me and themselves and just be like, hey, that's my mom. Um, sorry, I said like in the wrong context again. Um, I'd gotten out of the habit, but I've gotten back in. Um, I'll stop someday. I have to. I am going to get a nice job, an interview, and I won't be able to say like in the wrong context. But anyways, this is not working. Oh, I'll show it by, to you by parts. Um, this is part of my collection, collection, this is part of my collage, it's not finished yet, um, my whole memory book is still unfinished, um, I don't know when it'll be finished, but it's sometime, um, this said, this flaunt your flaws, used to say, like, flaunt the good stuff about you, hide your flaws, um, I didn't agree with that. I, I like flaws. I think that they make a person a person. They don't make it, if a person doesn't have flaws, then they're not really a person, are they? Or maybe you could argue that there are flaws that they don't have a flaw. I don't know. Just sort of like someone so normal that they're weird. Yeah. Um, anyways, there are a few things that I kind of like. Um, how I want to be remembered. This is... A diagram of a heart, you know, trust your heart, let your heart guide you. Um, that's my little brother, I'm sorry. Hello? Hello? Yes? Yes? Uh-huh. Yeah. Tuesday, June 8th. Today is the 7th. Or today is the 6th, I mean. Yep, the Tuesday. Bye. That was my little brother calling because I don't know why he can't, my dad can't call on his phone. But, yes. Um, chemistry plus creative thinking, and that equaled, like, some futuristic thing that I didn't care for. It wasn't my thing, but I like chemistry and I like creative thinking. Um, there's also a photo of a donut, because that is calculus. It is donuts. Um, we find volumes of donuts that make you want to pull your hair out and cry and punch babies. Um, not really. That's just showing how frustrated I am. I would never punch a baby because that's mean. Um, I like babies. Um, there's also a photograph of Alice in Wonderland with the Mad Hatter and the March Hare. I think the, you know, there's the Dormouse. Um, I also have a poem 
and other things. Um, I have a lot of stuff in here. This is sort of my my teacher loved it. She gave me uh, an A plus and a little star and a smiley face, which I really like. Um, she said, <clears throat> there's so much to read about you, by you. I could get lost for hours, but I don't have the time today. You write so well with control, detail, voice, and style. I especially enjoy and am impressed by your biographical pieces. Your life is interesting, complex, and you are so well balanced and self-aware, and a lot of other things too. Smart, beautiful, confident, dot, dot, dot. She's a wonderful teacher. She's Mrs. Mom. Um, Mom. I have some stuff about my mom. Um, Rob, which is you, because I didn't want to write out birth father because there is a lot of letters and I was didn't want to paint that much. Um, two part poem that I like a lot. I love two part two voice poems. Um, that's by you. That is my first blog entry at Road to Nirvana. Um, this is about my countdowns. This is my, oh, no, that's not. This is by you. This is your first entry. This is my OP that I wrote about turning 18. Um, she copied it. She gave me a little sticky note that says this is perhaps my favorite piece of the year. Um, I cried when I read it. Um, my friend Sleepy said that he cried when he read it. And my friend Nicole cried when she read it. Um, but and then my friend Anna, linguist, shh, I didn't say that. My friend Anna, Anna L, um, this piece made, had, this piece got me and her to be rather close. Um, so it's done things. This is a collection of our emails, and this is um, Ken, my other dad, um, I have some songs and poems and I still need to write a thing about when he had his heart attack, um, did I ever tell you that? Yeah, he had a heart attack, uh, 2001 when I was in 8th grade, um, when the Twin Towers hit, not exactly one, but the same year, um, I'm at eight minutes. Um, there was also the year I was in fourth grade. Fourth grade. So, fourth grade. Dad had a heart attack, twin towers fell, and they divorced. Um, they didn't actually divorce, that's just when me and my mom started talking about it. Fun year. Um, my fourth grade teacher was amazing. Um, Debbie. Um... Just talking about the things, awkwardness. I am going to continue in part two. Maybe.